once you have decided that you will go for civil services, then you should uh, be focused. So if uh, you want to clear it in first attempt, you should have a clear uh, focus only on civil services and you would not focus on any other examination or any other uh, uh, preparation. So that would help in clearing, uh, clearing in first attempt. Also, whenever you are studying, you should not think of the results. So whenever I did a study, I never focused on what the result would be. I was only like, uh, if I'm doing hard and if I'm doing good, I will get selected. Hello friends, so first of all let me start by introducing myself, my name is Abdesh Meena and I got All India Rank 32, this was my first attempt. I also got All India Rank 9th in Engineering Service Examination and as sir already told that uh, I was among the topper in the Civil Engineering Department of IIT Delhi. My optional was Civil Engineering and I got uh, uh, the highest marks in optionals, I got 356 marks in optionals. So I would discuss on two basic things. One is GS paper three, and one is optional. As, uh, do should we take engineering as an optional or not? So first of all, uh, I'm telling about that peer factor which Sir was talking about. So when you guys have uh, decided that you will uh, have uh, go for civil service preparation, then I think uh, there should be no doubt in your mind that uh, you should choose a backup or you should go for any other job. So once you have decided that you will go for civil services, then you should uh, be focused. So if uh, you want to clear it in first attempt, you should have a clear uh, focus that you would uh, focus only on civil services and you would not focus on any other examination or any other uh, uh, preparation. So that would help in clearing, uh, clearing in first attempt. Also, whenever you are studying, you should not think of the result. So whenever I did a study, I never focused on what the result would be. I was only like, uh, if I'm doing hard and if I'm doing good, I will get selected. So that will help take away the fear factor uh, which I was talking about. So now talking whether uh, we should take uh, engineering as an optional. So I think uh, engineering is a very good optional. So there, there are two, three rumors about engineering, uh, especially about scaling, that there is scaling uh, in engineering and for if you want to score three, 250 marks, you will have to get to 450 and then the numbers would be scaled down. Uh, but uh, what I see from my paper, and especially in paper 1, I have got 213 marks out of 250. So if there was any concept of scaling, then I might have got even more than 250 marks. Then only I can get 213 marks. So if there is scaling, uh, I think that even if there is scaling, that is not that much significant. Or if it is significant, we should not worry about it. So those who are choosing engineering as an optional, they should not worry about the scaling aspect, that whether there is scaling or not. Although I agree the course is very huge. The course for civil engineering or any other engineering optional is huge. And when you start preparation, you will feel like that it would take very much time. But once you have completed with your preparation, you can be very sure of getting good marks. So for choosing your engineering as an optional, you can take two, three factors into account. So if you have very good uh, knowledge base about engineering, so if you have cleared engineering service examination or you were among the toppers in your college in engineering, so you can take engineering in that case. Also if you have interest but you didn't study that much in college and you think that you have the required aptitude or skills, <coughs> then you can go for engineering optional. But if you feel that uh, despite trying too hard you have not been able to score uh, good marks in engineering in your uh, college or you are not able to understand the concept, then I think you can go for other optional and especially if you have interest and write good writing skills in other optional. But engineering too is a very good optional. So how to study for engineering? <coughs> so I studied mostly the coaching notes which are available in the market. <coughs> I studied for a total of six to seven months, especially for civil engineering. So the coaching notes which were available in the market were uh, almost sufficient and they have to be uh, su supplemented along with the previous year paper. So there is a difference between the engineering service examination and the civil service examination in that respect. And there is a slight difference in courses and the type of questions which are asked in the examination. So in that case, uh, you could uh, refer previous year paper. And for the topics which were not there in the engineering service examination, I refer previous year paper and solve questions from them. So that has me getting uh, in getting good marks. Apart from it, joining test series is very very important in 
uh, especially in engineering optional, where you can practice more and more questions. <laughs> Practicing is the key for engineering optional. And the standard coaching material, I think, which is available, is sufficient for engineering optional. So this was about, I think, engineering. So if you have questions, you can ask later. About GS Paper 3, I would say that uh, uh, for economics portion, the class notes which were which would be taught in uh, coaching, up, uh, along with the current affairs. The Paper 3 is more most of dynamic, uh, and I got about 122 marks in Paper 3. So it is more of dynamic paper. Um, most of the questions are related to current affairs only, the internal security part, the SNT part. So uh, many of the questions were related to current affairs. So your focus should be on the analytical part. You should try to analyze more and more questions and more and more news which is coming up. So suppose there is any news relating to demonetization or the bank NPS which are going up. So uh, it is sure that one question would be asked from it. So if agricultural suicides are going on, so there would be something related to these things in paper. So you have to be analytical. You should try to, when you read a newspaper article or uh, anything, you should try to be analyzed that why are these suicides happening, what are the reasons and what are the positive uh, possible solutions for it. And in the examination, uh, you have to, in, in that case, if you have already analyzed while reading the newspaper or while reading any article, then you could directly mention all those points. So that would be very, very helpful. And in, uh, uh, in SNT paper, uh, you have to go through all the basic terms which, is, which are being given in the syllabus. So always uh, there is question from the topics which are mentioned in syllabus. So this year there was question from nanotechnology. Last year there was question from artificial intelligence. So there were uh, questions from each of the topics. So every year. So go through syllabus, go through each and every term of it. And have uh, uh, notes uh, for each and every term of it. And then revise it. Apart from its security also is uh, most of uh, uh, it is from current affairs only. So that too should be uh, based on your analysis. So whenever there is new news re uh, regarding internal security, like suppose there is some terrorist attack or left wing extremism attack. So in that case, you should try to analyze and uh, uh, most of the questions would be from newspaper only. I felt that uh, almost uh, all, most questions were from newspaper. So you should try to analyze. Apart from it, you should try to work on answer writing. So even KZ have started an answer writing program. So they are working very, very hard on answer writing um, practice. So you should follow answer writing on a regular basis. You could start answer writing when you are prepared for about three to four months. So after three to four months of preparation, I think when you have some basic form of knowledge, you could start answer writing practice and then you can join test series. So practicing test series regularly would help you improve your answer writing skills. So there are certain things which you should must be kept in mind while writing answers. Like suppose I, I wrote the answers in point where I wrote an introduction and conclusion. So you should uh, write, uh, in, you could write in such a manner, you should highlight the important words. So if you, or also if you mention some facts in economics, like some, if you have some knowledge about like what are the GDP of India, what is, what are the subsidies which are going on. So if you have some factual knowledge, that too would add to your answer in uh, economics portion, portion especially. So the examiner would feel that, okay, he has some substantial knowledge, which is substantiating, substantiating with uh, use of facts. So in economics, some factual knowledge should, may be remembered, uh, especially for use in uh, uh, the part. Apart from it, using examples in answer. So these are all the strategies. So, so I have also heard about using the flowcharts and diagrams in answer, if possible. In geography, we can use uh, diagrams, but in economics also, we can use facts and some flowcharts or tables or graphs for explain it, explaining the answer. All these are things which uh, help to improve math. So you should practice more and more of answer writing in uh, GS3. So GS3 is more of uh, current affairs, analysis, and answer writing. So this was about GS3 and uh, civil engineering options.